This is Group F, Belgium, Canada, this is where they'll be, Morocco and Croatia. At least Croatia did very well in 2018. Take it through to Group G, and that's where the favourites are with Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland and Cameroon. And then many wondering about Cristiano Ronaldo talking about it potentially being his final World Cup, you never know with that guy. Uh, Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and South Korea. You're unsure here, Stevie. I, I couldn't pick a winner out of this lot. Any one of these four could top the group. Listen, South Korea beat Germany in the last World Cup 2-0. So you can't discount them. Who wants to play against Uruguay? Nobody wants to play against Uruguay. Because they can either outplay <laughs> you, or they can beat you up physically and, and wear you down with all the tricks and, and everything else. I mean, Portugal, if you look at the history books, Portugal stands out. Problem is, Portugal crawled into this World Cup. They were lucky to get past Turkey, and then they were lucky to get North Macedonia at home to qualify. So, yeah, Ghana. Do you want to play Ghana? No thanks. I'm sorry. I don't think anybody can confidently pick who's going to top this group and who's going to get out of it. Yeah, tricks. Uh, Ghana know the tricks when it comes to Uruguay in this group particularly. But, Gab, I'd just like to get your thoughts on Portugal Everybody is talking about whether they can go all the way in this tournament with the talent that they've got. What do you think about it? I think with Portugal, it's an issue of this is undoubtedly a hugely talented side, but do the pieces fit together well? Uh, do they have an, an overload of talent in certain positions and maybe not enough elsewhere? And as a result, does the coach Fernando Santos too often you know, get a little too conservative? Uh, he wasn't necessarily conservative against Turkey, but it's certainly a side of him that we've seen in the past. It can be frustrating. Um, and I think I agree with Stevie. I think this group is pretty much wide open. I mean, Uruguay Ghana part two. If Luis Suarez does anything naughty on the pitch, that's going to be absolutely delicious to watch. And uh, I, I think, yeah, I mean, this is a pick em group in my opinion. When we were talking about the groups then, you think this is, this is if there is a group of death, it's yes. this one? Oh, 100%. 100%. Portugal, you know, will, if they don't get through, will clarify this as being the group of death. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app and for live streaming, premium content, and of course, ESPN FC seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.